how can we help our kids when they're being cyberbullying? Because now there's more than MySpace and more than Facebook. Now we have Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, etc. So the first thing we can do is teach responsible use of technology to our children to prevent the use of um, technology to harass other children, right? So passwords, who's on the other end, hours that it can and cannot be used, code of conduct, appropriate posts, and sometimes just talking with our children about what they're posting and doing on social media, having that safe flow of conversation, and also conversations they're having with other people, because sometimes the bully can be adults when it's online, not just children. Another one is discuss cyberbullying as soon as they start using the technology, letting them know this is possible and that it does happen so they know that it's okay to talk about, that it does not have to be secretive because a lot of kids who are being cyberbullied do not talk about it. The next is talk with them about being safe online just like being safe at school. So the issue with cyberbullying is that there's a sense of no peace. It's not only happening at school, it's happening everywhere because we carry a phone in our, in our pocket. So it could follow you home, it can follow you on the bus, it can follow you in the movie theater. So there's no peace, there's no privacy, there's no being alone. This bullying is constantly following you everywhere. And now we could say, well, just delete all the apps, but sometimes that's their only form of communication with their friends. And they wanna feel plugged in, right? And we don't want them to feel like they're being punished for other people's behaviors. So we really need that flow of conversation and teaching them how to keep themselves safe online. The next one is, Number four, encourage them to tell you when something online is hurtful. Commit to work together to address it. So we really need to honor child-sized problems because that's what is child-sized problems and these are children. So for us, it might not seem like a big deal, but for them in their developmental stage where they don't have as much power as we do and not as much freedom, this is a really big deal for them. So we really have to honor that this is problematic for them and it is very hurtful, so we have to be very empathetic towards these children when they're going through cyberbullying or any type of bullying.